Hello and welcome back to Telltale's own Game of Thrones, episode 1, Iron from Ice. <laughs> I keep forgetting the name. Um, now, last we left off, some characters died. Roderick, Lord Forrester, um, Garrod's father and sister, and he's made his way back to the camp. He's had his legs stitched up and he's walking around. Um, now, I advanced a tiny bit. It was only to this table um, and I picked up some weird thing yeah herbal thing okay let's pick up this bandage <laughs> yeah I'm coming handy yeah you've finished it when you're finished exploring look ooh maggots Ugh. touch Rather cute little creatures, aren't they? I guess. <laughs> I guess, mate. <coughs> That's about it. Right. I can look out, talk to. No, you see there? You're limping again. I'm fine, really. Uh, show the sword. It's a good thing you've done, bringing that back to House Forrester. By right, that belongs to Lord Ethan now. That sword has been handed down through 50 generations of foresters. Awesome. Now, let's look at him. Keep moving. I need to see you walk. Okay. Well, last but not least, uh, talk to. I guess that's the last thing I've got to do. Did your leg feel weak? No. I just wanted to ask you. <laughs> Okay, now <laughs> yes, dude. Why do the White Hills hate the foresters? I think it's safe to say the feeling is mutual. There's been enmity between the two houses for as long as anyone can remember. I don't doubt someone killed someone, which led to more killings of someone's, and then, well, here we are. Well, that sucks. <laughs> the White Hills want Forester Ironwood. Ah, they take it all if we'd let them. Especially now with the Boltons in power. And proceed to clear cut every last inch of it until there's nothing left. Okay. Just as they've done before. Awesome. Who is the new lord of House Forrester? White Ethan, of course. Um. At the Citadel, I swore an oath to serve whichever noble house I was assigned. Advising the late Lord Forrester was an honor. Advising Ethan, his third born son, is challenging. There's still so much he has to learn, yet the very fate and future of this house rests in his hands. Hmm. Cool. Which is rather frightening when you think about okay. it. What will happen to me now? Excellent question. Hmm. Under normal circumstances, you could join Sir Roiland and his men. Although, given the circumstances of your circumstances, it becomes a bit tricky, doesn't it? I suppose it will be for Lord Ethan to decide. Lord Forrester promoted me. At the twins, I, I'm no longer a squire, if that matters. It might, I suppose. But I'll defer to Lord Ethan on this. Okay. Can I see Ethan? Is he here? He is, but I'm afraid he's indisposed at the moment. He prefers not to be disturbed while practicing his loot. Can I go now? I believe your leg will be fine. Any time will tell, but... Lady Forrester. Welcome home, Garrod. We're all relieved to know you survived. Thank you, my lady. Talia asked to see you. Garrod, I heard what happened. Is it true? Your family... No tears. I'm so sorry. Me too. Off to bed now. Hurry on. Okay. Garrett was just telling me how valiantly Lord Forrester fought to the end, even when all was lost. <laughs> I'm sure Lady Forrester would like to know. Whatever you can recall. He loved his family, my lady. He was very proud of Roderick. Yet he was unable to save him. <laughs> you were with Roderick, no? I'm sure it was chaos and confusion. 
But if you can remember anything, I'm sure Lady Forrester would like to know. He... He fought valiantly, my lady. Of course he did. He was House Forrester's best. This has been so incredibly difficult for us, especially the children. But I was told... I was told you were the last to see my husband alive. Yes, my lady. I know it may be difficult to remember, but if I may ask, was there anything he said? Any last words before he passed, if you can remember? He asked me to return this to House Forrester. He said this is where it belongs, with his family. Thank you, Garrett. Of course, my lady. It demands a response. It's too dangerous, especially now. Now is the time to prove our strength. I'll be sure it's given to Ethan. Duncan, this was our land. They were our people. Your family. I share your outrage, Zeroy. I do. But now is not the time to provoke the White Hills. Not with Ramsay Snow coming to see us bend the knee. The hell with Ramsay Snow, the bastard. Garrett, you understand what this means. You killed a Bolton, and Ramsay Snow will want his retribution. We're the ones that should be demanding retribution. This happened on Forrester land. They killed my family. And they'll pay for what they've done. That much, I promise. But now is not the time for vengeance. If not now, when? We have to be smart. Ramsay Snow will be here within the week. And what would you have us do? Nothing. I would have us use our heads, while they're still attached to our shoulders. Garrett has lost as much as anyone else within these walls. Maybe you can talk some sense into your uncle. Garrett's suffered enough already. You asked too much of the boy. He deserves to be heard. My uncle's right. We need to be smart. Smart. Eddard Stark was smart. And look where that got him. Fuck you, mate. So, what's to be done? <sighs> Ultimately... It will be for Lord Ethan to decide. He's just a boy who can barely hold a sword. He knows nothing of how to lead men. He is the lord of this house, and he needs our help. It's bad enough the Boltons would have us bend the knee and swear fealty. But now, this. But I'll accuse you of murder, and us of protecting you. The boy was just defending himself. I'm not faulting him for what he did. I'd have done the same, as any man would. It wasn't murder. It was justice. Not in their eyes. It's just the excuse Ramsay Snow would need to put us to the torch and kill us all. I'd like to see them try. I'm afraid it's a risk we cannot take. Which is why you cannot stay. You cannot stay? Duncan. But, but where would I go? The one place beyond the reach of even House Bolton. You're sending him to the wall? The boy's done nothing wrong. Not in the eyes of the Boltons. I'm afraid it's the only solution. Uncle, my place is here. Who will defend the house? You said we need men who can fight. There'd be nothing we could do to protect you. To stay would bring destruction upon us all. I know that's not what you want. I know it's difficult to understand. But you must think of the house. I'll do what's asked of me. I know it doesn't seem fair, but it is what's best. Fuck you, Uncle. That settles it then. First scarred man. You can have my horse, and I'll see you have plenty of food. But we haven't much time. The White Hills will come looking for you. Let them. <coughs> I'll kill them all. Uncle. Hey, Uncle, come back. I've got a message for you. Ah, uh, fuck. Oh, there you are. Word up to me. I gladly drive a sword through Lord Whitehill's heart if given the chance. Good. I would. And God's willing, someday I will. But for now, I have House Forrester to consider first. I know you want to stay. But Lord Forrester would be proud that you're putting the interests of the house ahead of your own. Many of Lord Forrester's best men have volunteered for the war. His own great uncle was a ranger with the Night's Watch. You're the only family I have left. In my heart, I know I'll see you again. Bear fucking do. I've been waiting for the right moment to tell you. 
What? What is um, it? It's important. Lord Forrester asked me to give you a message. He said, the North Grove can never be lost. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sorry. You caught me by surprise. It's not often discussed, if ever. <laughs> he said, tell only you. For good reason. Most don't even know it exists. They think it's just a myth made up by wildlings and fools. And it's better kept that way. I assume you kept your word. You haven't told anyone else. No, 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 no. No, 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 no. This is important, Garrett. Of course not. I told no one. Well done. Lord Forrester was right to put his trust yeah, in you. Yeah, trustworthy, bitch. From this day forward, this will be our secret. But soon, I may need your help. But I can't say anything more just yet. Just know the North Grove may very well be vital to the future of this house. Awesome. What is it? Don't breathe a word of it to anyone at the wall. Become a ranger if you can. It will help. Okay. Right. <coughs> Excuse me. Bye, Uncle. Iron from ice. Iron from ice. Iron from ice. Remember. Yeah, you represent I... House Forrester. Your actions at the wall will reflect the honor and dignity of the house. I'll serve with honor. I know you. Yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> Why does it seem like this is the only house that's not full of a bunch of arseholes? Like the TV series. That's probably why I liked the Starks, because most of them weren't arseholes. <laughs> Jared, wait! Well, what do you want, little girl? Ah, you want me to take necklace? Oh, it's hers. Why? Be safe. I've no interest in you, but apparently, my character does. God damn it! Oh, I'm on my way. Somewhere. 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 Hey! Chapter 3 complete! I think there's seven chapters. Ah, oh, fuck. Ethan? Fuck. Me is. His headphones hurt. Ethan Forrester, Lord of House Forrester. <laughs> well, he looks like an arsehole. I couldn't find him. Could you? Hides too well, and if he was smart, he would reveal himself. I don't like this game anymore. Maybe something happened to him. Ethan's fine. He's just forgotten this is a game. You found me. Well done, Ryan. Don't worry. It's just a game, Ryan. A stupid game. I don't like it. He was worried you were gone. I thought we'd never find you again. I'm right here. And I promise, I'm not going anywhere. I wish Mira was here. <clears throat> and Asha. Well, not an arsehole thing. And, and Roderick. I do too. But Mira's in King's Landing and... Can't she come home? I don't want her to die too. Ryan, she's perfectly safe, I promise you. No, she's not. I don't want Gareth to die either. Maester Ortengrin said he got sent to the wall. <laughs> I'll miss Gareth. He was nice. He'll be fine. Garrett is smart. No one will tell me what Garrett did, but it must have been serious. I heard Duncan and Sir Royland talking. They said someone will come here looking for revenge. Everyone's worried about you, but I'm not. I know you'll protect us. Who said they're worried about me? Well, Sir Royland for one. He says you can't fight very well. What? And he calls you a milksop. So Roland forgets himself. He doesn't know me or, or what I'm capable of. <laughs> what does milksop mean? I don't know, but I know it's not good. Ethan, you should let Sir Roiland teach you how to wield a sword, like, like a man. He taught Roderick and Asher, and he even showed me how to fight. Properly, I mean. A lord should know how to fight. 
<laughs> Do you remember when we were younger? No. We all used to play here. You, me, Roderick, Asher. We'd all be out here for hours. Where was I? You weren't born yet. We had so much fun. But then, well, and everything changed. Roderick became so serious, the Lord in training, and he never smiled anymore. And Asher, Asher just got angry at everything. Oh dear. Promise me you won't be like that. Please, just be you. I like you the way you are. I know a Lord has many responsibilities. Oh. I promise I won't change. Good, because I'd rather have a brother Talia than a Lord. I'll we'll have to have both, I'm afraid. Uh, since you're the new lord, you can do anything you want. I suppose. Everyone will have to do as you say. So I could have all the sweets I want. If only it were that simple. <coughs> it would be nice if someone did what I wanted for once. You have to understand, being lord is a great responsibility. I can't just fool around. Thank you for that, Roderick. <laughs> lord Ethan. You're needed in the great hall at once. Quickly, on your feet. Well, off I go. I guess I'm playing. What's the matter? Lord Whitehill has arrived. Unannounced and certainly unexpected. He's come demanding justice. Can't he meet with Duncan? He is the Castellan. Stay with us. He's Ethan. He's demanding an audience with the Lord. We really must go. It's your decision. You are the Lord. If I were Lord, I would command Ethan to stay with his family. Lord Whitehill is a I'll stay here. Man Fuck you. I'd rather stay here. Tell him I'm busy at the moment. Perhaps the Lord could play games after he tends to business. He's right. It's okay. You should go. Fine. Let's be done with it. Right, yeah, let's go. Fine, as long as I to kill somebody. I thought he was an arsehole, but he's not. He seems pretty cool. No, where am I? Oh, okay, hello, Duncan. They showed up unannounced. Lord Whitehill is in a lather. I assume you explained to Lord Ethan why they're here. The business with Garrett. I told him. Lord Whitehill knows Garrett is a squire to this house. Or was, I suppose. Is. Was. It makes no difference. The Whitehills were clearly in the wrong. So don't give him any satisfaction. Out there, you said you wished to stay. If you wish to stay Lord of this house, then show him the same defiance. Let's not do something rash. Things are bad enough as it is. What should I say to him? Tell him and his men to leave. Now is not the time to anger Lord Whitehill any more than he already is. He's got five times as many men and the backing of House Bolton. All the more reason to stand up for ourselves. Only cowards and dead men rule over. Lord Ethan, is it? My condolences for your father and brother. The late Lord Forrester was no friend to me or my house, but to his family it's still a loss. Fine. He said thank you. My only regret is I wasn't there to drive a dagger into his heart myself. Hmm. I've been waiting for this day all my life. The Foresters finally get their due. I may be young. But I'm not so easily fooled. They're trying to rile me, but it won't work. Young? You are that boy. Too young to know when you're in over your head. And no bread and salt! What kind of fucking house receives a lord with no fucking bread and salt? You bloody amateur. No courtesies. I should have expected as much. Calm yourself, old man. You little fuck! 
That's how you talk to a lord. You foresters have shit on us for generations. <laughs> well, now the Starks are no longer around to have your back, are they? We're the power in the North now. Roose Bolton is the Warden of the North. Aye. And we've been his bannermen for five fucking centuries. You cut. Language. <laughs> Lord Ethan, you're losing control of this. Lord Whitehill, please. I'm not finished. Maybe if you hadn't been so fucking greedy with the ironwood, things would have been different between us. You squandered your share. Our share was taken from <laughs> us. We had no fucking choice but to harvest what was left. What is it you want, Lord Whitehill? <laughs> Your man, the squire. We were minding our own business, keeping the king's peace, as his lordship here said. When your man attacked us for no reason. Hear that? Attack for no reason. No reason? You murdered his family. Then you admit it was your man who killed my men. And a pig farmer at that. How do you answer for your squire, <laughs> Lord Ethan? He acted in your name. And you are the Lord of this house. We lost people too, Lord Whitehill. Your men murdered his entire family. You lost pig farmers, not soldiers. Soldiers worth a hundred of their type. Where's the fucking coward who killed my men? I know he's here. What have you done with him? We haven't seen him. He was never here. You little liar. I will find him. By the gods, you better hope I do, because if I don't, I'm holding you responsible. And you'll answer for what he's done. I'm not leaving until I have my justice. Now, <coughs> the coward who did it, or you'll answer to Roos Bolton. What kind of fucking house is this? A house of honorable men. Lady Forrester. You bellow like a wounded boar, Lord Whitehill. Have you forgotten your manners? I mean no disrespect to you, my lady, considering your losses. Go fuck yourself. This. This is not over. It's over when my son says it is. Thank you for coming, Lord Whitehill. Ethan is Lord of Ironrath now. By rights, his word is law here. If that displeases you, then I trust you can find the door. That lad may be Lord of this house. But Lord Bolton will have the final say. I'll send him a raven, letting him know a forester man killed one of his own. That the new Lord Forester lied to my face and denied me my justice. Then we'll see whose word is law. You're a craven, Lord Whitehill. Old haircut guy. I want to kill him. <laughs> oh, chapter four complete. I was wrong about your son, my lady. He stood up to him like a true lord. You were brave, my son. But you'll need to be braver still when Ramsay Snow arrives to see you bend the knee. Prepare a raven. We need to send word to Mira in King's Landing at once. Oh, yeah. Oh. Going on. Oh, where am I? Your sister can help us. Cool artwork. Although just a handmaiden, she has Marjorie Tyrell's favor. And Lady Marjorie's betrothal to the king may be enough to keep the Boltons at bay. If it's presented to her as it okay. should be. Well, fruit. Can I have some? I want an apple. Or those grapes. I'd have whatever. Hmm. Hmm. What's in here? Look in here. It's good I'm playing as somebody else. That's pretty cool. Okay, so what's in here? What we got? What we got? What we got? Look at this coin. Asher sent me this coin to remember him. Awesome. What a strange place, Essos. <coughs> Excuse me? <coughs> Read this letter. Father. Much excitement here in King's Landing for the coming wedding. Lady Marjorie has proven to be quite popular throughout the city. I do wish you and mother could come, although I know it would be impossible under the circumstances. I miss all of you, and I look forward to the day you can. 
Cool. That's a good layer. What's that? Carved ironwood tree. Okay. Ethan made this for me. Cool. He's a good lord. He's a very cool lord. What's that? Look at this coin. It was very kind of Lady Marjorie to give this to me. It once belonged to Lady Elena. Awesome. Okay, right, so what's new? What's next? Hmm. What's this? Dusty old tome. Wonders made by man. Tomb, tome, tomb. Street. Whatever. I don't care. A gift from Roderick. Cool. I hope to see them all someday. Oh, you'll be fairly disappointed. Can't see that. Look at window. <coughs> Is it? I wonder if it's Sunday Fine Wrath today. Nah, shrouded in blood. I think. What's this? Letter from Mother. Read. It troubles me to even ask this okay. of you. But you must appeal to Lady Marjorie to intervene on our behalf. She is our best hope. And can be a powerful ally. Especially now when your family so desperately needs her help. Alright, uh, okay. Oh, knock at the door. Who is it? Who's at the door? Who's at the door? Oh, somebody's knocking. Is there anything else that I could, like, search and look at? Oh, with your wagons. <laughs> uh, oh. What do you want, boy? Oh, sorry, m'lady. I, I didn't mean to disturb you. I can come back later if you'd like. No, it's fine. Come in. What do you want, boy? Okay, okay, sorry about that. Um, I had to cut it off because there was a, a phone call. I got the phone in my in this room uh i'm listening out for it but yeah i'm sorry about that but uh, it was pretty much near the end of the episode anyway so uh okay thank you for, for watching uh jo join me next time when we will be doing more game of thrones stuff we're in king's landing now and we're gonna kill joff i can't remember he's gonna be dead anyway he's an arsehole Thank you again for